I believe it was God. God showed up. He answered the prayers of hundreds of thousands of people across this land that have been praying for this country. He is the voice of evangelicals. The Reverend Franklin Graham says President-elect Donald Trump was put in the White House by God, as you just heard there. Reverend Franklin Graham joins us now. He's the president and CEO of Samaritan's Purse and the Billy Graham Evangelist, uh, Evangelist Association. Good morning, sir. Good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, good to be with you, Abby. So we just played that sound. When you said that God intervened in electing Mr. Trump to the White House, there were members of the left uh, that were up in arms about this. What happened? What were they so upset about? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I think they're upset at uh, losing, and, and that's what they're mad about. Um, and listen, I'm not a Republican and I'm not a Democrat. Uh, I'm just a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe uh, Jesus is God's son, that he died for our sins and that uh, God raised him to life. And I went across this country this year holding prayer rallies. And we went to every state capital, and these were statewide prayer rallies where people came from every district, every county. Uh, they came by the hundreds and thousands, and they stood on their capital steps and they prayed. They didn't come to hear me speak. They came to pray. Uh, for this nation because they knew the country was going the wrong direction. And I, and I could tell as I was going across this country that God was getting ready to do something in this country. Uh, they were praying that God would change the direction that our nation was going. And the, the secularists uh, that had gotten uh, control of Washington, uh, that had a humanistic, uh, atheistic agenda, uh, they were they were praying that God would change this and, and put somebody in the White House uh, that uh, believed in God and were willing to listen to God's voice. And I believe this election, no question, I believe God's hand was in it. Yes, yeah, some powerful words. And as we ring in a new year going into 2017, Reverend, you say we still need God's help. No question. Our country is still in great trouble. Uh, we, we're such a divided nation, and it's not Donald Trump that divided it. It's been divided now for some time. And uh, we need to come together as a people. We need to come together as a country. Uh, there are so many international problems, domestic problems, economic problems. We need to pray. Well, the inauguration's right around the corner. Reverend, you will be at that inauguration. Normally, it's like the one day of the year uh, in those four years of the presidency where the country can come together, where they can celebrate the United States all together. We're not seeing that happen this time. Yes. Well, I, I hope that the country does come together. I, I saw when uh, President Barack Obama was inaugurated, uh, the, the people that came, uh, whether you're with the, the left or the right, I think everybody was cheering him on, hoping and, and wishing him the best, praying for him. Uh, but I saw, I was there when George W. Bush was inaugurated for the first time, and I saw uh, demonstrators and uh, people that were angry and uh, were, were upset with the process. And, and I hope that doesn't happen this time. And I know there's been a call for demonstrations. There's been a call for, uh, for the left to show up and try to disrupt this inauguration. Uh, that's, that's the wrong thing to do. We need to come together as Americans. And uh, he, he won the election. Donald Trump won. And uh, he and Mike Pence are going to be sworn in, and the process yeah. moves forward. And now we need, we need to help this nation move forward. Reverend Graham, that's a great message to end on. It's been good having you here this morning. Thank you.